leaves tastes good like a beer should. You said it. Lucky Strike means fine tobacco. <laughs> Try a frosty cold glass of Bavarian right away. What you say? No boulder dash or baloney here. Cheers, everyone, and welcome to the Unfiltered Gentleman. And now, with a higher BAC than your ABV, Greg, Scott, and Dan. That's right. Welcome in, everybody. It's the Unfiltered Gentleman. Thanks for joining. Thanks for listening. Most importantly, thanks for drinking along. I am Greg. Over there is Scott. Welcome, all. And there is Dan. Welcome in. Ah, boom da ba. <laughs> Guten Tag. Yeah, oh. I see. Uh, beer. With an I in it. Oh, that's right. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you did it. You got it. Yeah. Uh, thanks for joining. Shout out to our top listening city of last week, which was Rocky River, Ohio. Oh, what? What's up, Rocky River? Never heard of them, but uh, right. Thanks for listening. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Uh, and our bird board of the week is locked up because mm. just we're locked up. We're right? still locked up, it's like Acon. That's man. what I was gonna say. <laughs> <laughs> Some convict music over here. <laughs> yeah, I forgot about that, man. <laughs> Locked up, they won't let me out. Uh, don't forget to hashtag show us your beers. Also, tag us in any beer picks that you guys post online. We like to see them. Uh, rate and subscribe on whatever podcast app you like to use Apple Podcast, iTunes, Spotify, whatever it is. We're on there. Give us a little rating review and subscribe. All right, we got some beers to get to. Allie and Callie is back with a new beer review for us. We are drinking a very appropriate beer in the bullpen for April. Some booze news to get to and much more. So let's get let's get things off. Let's kick things off. Yeah. As we're all looking quite dehydrated over here. Yes. Grab your libations, pals. It's time for beer of the week. And if you're drinking well, you know that you're my friend, and I say, I think I'll have myself a beer. Yes, indeed. Haven't heard that in a while. Mm-mm. Now the tournament's over, we're back to the good old stuff. I there. know, man. Kind of missed that NBA Jam already. A little bit, huh? <laughs> I think we need to do another tournament. Yeah. Lack of sports around here. <laughs> uh, as we have been saying for weeks, we're trying to drink local and support local. So in honor of that, our beer of the week is 14 Cannons Pale Ale. They are in Westlake Village, California. Uh, 5.5%, 23 IBUs. Has a 357 on untapped. Very long description. Pale Ale, Amarillo, El Dorado, and El Dorado Dry Hopped. There it is. Oh, that's it? <laughs> Dan was waiting for the whole thing. Oh, man, dude. <laughs> Got him. And, 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 and. and, and. Uh, this well, was one of my wedding beers. It's one of the ones we had on tap. Oh, yeah. You got married? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, he looked so nice in that dress. <laughs> uh, it was this uh, Nighthawk from Integrin, lightest one from Integrin. Yeah, I remember and, Nighthawk. Uh, yeah, a lot of people remember Nighthawk. Oh, yeah. That was the first one to go. Uh-huh. <laughs> and uh, Space Ways from Modern Time. Uh, so Pale Ale from 14 Cannons. I, I ordered this up. They're doing the online, and you can go in and pick up. And I, I ordered online and picked this up. And uh, Nick, head brewer Nick, who's been on the show, was in there and, and uh, walked in. I was like, hey. He's like, hey. <laughs> you can tell he hadn't seen any humans for a while. <laughs> oh, man. So uh, we talked safely from six feet away for a while. Okay. And uh, picked up my beer, and uh, here we are drinking it now. Mm. So Six feet apart. Six feet apart, yes. Uh, uh, I, I'm six. You guys are... Uh, yeah, we're huddled uh, together we over are, here. Yeah. We're holding hands. <laughs> singing Kubaya. So uh, this is... Back to the beer. This is good. This is an easy drinker. I will say, it, this is... Uh, Pretty hoppy for a pale ale. That's only, right. What did and I say? It, 23 IBUs or something? And it's not very pale. Yeah. I mean, it's got some toasty. Yeah. It's got some body to it. That's right. Some body and some hops. Look at all the hops we've got. We've got a lot of them. Uh-huh. Uh, it, he packed them in tight. That's for Big sure. Big time. Uh, a lot of early edition, I would imagine. Dude, it is... I mean, it's good. <laughs> I like it. Yeah. Especially you tell me, here's a pale have at it, Dan. Yeah. I'm like, holy shit. This is a pale? <laughs> this is yeah. so, so much flavor. <laughs> I don't think that's a Yule one, but it should be. Yeah, I think it is. Where did it go? Yeah. I can't. But there is a Yule flavor one. Mm. Um, yeah, this is uh, malty. Yes. It's hoppy. It's yes. dank. Oh, yeah. Uh, that'll be the theme for today's beers, by the way. Here and how would you describe the hop flavor? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Dank. <laughs> Intense. Very. 
Yeah, so uh, big time splitting a crowler this bad. Oh my you. god, man! Yeah, Scott, what say you? Mm, loving it. Mm-hmm. Am I a little out of bounds to say like it's got an earthy kind of taste? I think you're in bounds. No, oh, thank you. <laughs> yeah. No whistle. <laughs> oh, all right, <laughs> no whistle on the play. Uh, yeah, a little earthiness to it. Hell I, yeah! I get a lot of uh, just a lot of dank. Big time. Yeah, it's it's a it's a West oh, Coaster man. for sure. Yeah, this one's gonna put me back on that dank kick, man. Mm, Dan's going back oh, around. Damn it! Oh, here we come. <laughs> uh, if you guys are drinking local and supporting local, send us some pictures, tag us in some posts. We want to see what you guys are drinking. We're also, if anybody, uh, any breweries, tag us in some like brewery announcements or what they're doing to you know beer to go that kind of stuff. We're happy to retweet and regram and all that stuff. We're trying to get the word out for everybody, not just the ones in our immediate area. Though the ones in our immediate area are delicious. They yes, are. They are. Uh, all right, let's do a little uh, talking. Have a grievance to share? It's time for a crotch talk. Well, uh, like I said, continue to support local beer and local food. But all the friends, all the people on the socials, everybody would not shut the fuck up about this Tiger King. <laughs> Have you guys heard of this Tiger King bullshit? I've heard of it. Yeah. Haven't heard of it. Okay. I, you know, you know me. I'm off of everything. Right. <laughs> I'm off the grid, man. It feels yeah. pretty good. I got to be honest with you, but it has reached me. That's wow. how crazy this is. It has reached me. That's impressive. Right. I uh, agree. There are memes galore on the socials about wow. this Tiger King guy because he's insane. So finally, the wife and I gave in to the peer pressure and we we watched the tiger king okay we are six of the seven episodes in at this point i was hoping to finish the seventh one seventh one so i give you a full report Ooh. can't quite do that i'm sorry but uh six episodes deep and it's just fucking insane like it it's just this guy is nuts but as it goes on he may not be the nuttiest one there no he loves tigers he's i mean i don't know how much i can say without giving certain things away but this guy uh, has a tiger zoo out. I think it's in Ohio. Oh shit! Maybe it's near Rocky River. Oh, oh, oh shit! Hold on a sec. Um, yeah, so he's got this tiger zoo, and he's also in jail. And this is revealed in the first five minutes of the show. <laughs> in jail for trying to put a hit out on another tiger zoo person. Oh damn! And then there's this other tiger zoo guy who's fucking nuts. And I don't want to give you give away why he's so nuts because it's kind of the fun as you learn about these just insane people. One of the best summaries I've I've read a friend I think it was Inter Brian wrote like it's the only movie you'll ever watch where there's no good person. <laughs> And it's true, like nobody is redeemable in this. Ah. It's fucking weird. It's a documentary. It's seven parts. Um, it's a true story. Yeah, yeah, it's doc. Yeah, yeah. it's real. It's it's all unfortunately real. Wow. Yeah, uh, it's fucking insane. So can't can't wait to watch the last one and and see if there's any sort of conclusion or closure. I feel like there's not going to be. I feel like they're just gonna leave it all very open ended. Hmm, maybe I'll try to catch up and we can discuss. Yeah, maybe uh, on the next episode we can discuss our our tiger king <laughs> tiger king reviews i'll tell you if i was able to finish it or not yeah we'll see it's uh it's funny now people have been saying like it's the craziest thing they've ever seen and these people are the craziest people you ever see um and that they can't they just can't stop watching it's like all right it was good it kept my interest but it wasn't like yeah i was knocking the tv over out of excitement <laughs> yeah so i i think some of the hype is just because this guy looks the way he looks like he's got a fucking mullet, like blonde on top, right. brown in the back. Like he, he, what does he say? He's like, I'm the only gay cowboy to run for president or something like that. <laughs> like he's fucking nuts. Okay. And I think because he's such a character, people really like it. It's good. It'll really keep your attention, but people calm the fuck down. Right. I mean, it can't, it can't be the cre. I mean, how, how soon do we forget Jerry Springer? That was the craziest <laughs> show on TV. Easy. That had to be fake. Come on. Springer's <laughs> Some fake. of it eventually ended up being yeah. fake. But in the beginning, it was very real, I thought. We'll find, who knows? Eventually, <laughs> they'll do a documentary on him. Oh, that would be nice. Would it? I think so. <laughs> Maybe. I just want to hear him say, until then, what he used to say? Fuck. Oh, yeah. Like, be good to each other. Or yeah, be like good that. to yourself and each other or something like yeah. that. Yeah. He used to always say that as people were like punching themselves <laughs> out, like behind him on stage. It's like, shut the fuck up, man. No, he's got strippers on stage I showing know. their tits and he's offering us words of advice. Yeah, go count your money. Shut the fuck up. Yeah. He actually does a court show now. Does he really? I mean, they don't do the crazy shit anymore. Well, he's a pretty accomplished person, isn't he? Wasn't yeah, he, he was like a, a politician? Yeah. He was yeah. a mayor or something. Yeah, he's a former Cincinnati. mayor. I, mm-hmm. I, 
was going to say he was a lawyer. Is that? I true? think so because I almost said it myself. Well, he's a and judge I want to now. S- there you go. There judge, it is. Judge Jerry. <laughs> yeah. Judge Jerry. That's the name of the show. Yeah. Is that what it's called? Yeah. Judge Jerry. Oh, for real? Yeah. Oh, fuck. I was just making that up. Yeah. Sounds like something I'd watch. Yeah. People love it's alliteration. <laughs> I just kind of happened upon it by accident. Oh, mm. While I was locked down. Now Dan's got to get cable. That's right. <laughs> fuck. Sorry, yeah. Dan. I know. Maybe it's on Hulu or something. Maybe. <laughs> oh, God. So, yeah. So, that's Tiger King. Uh, it's just a shit show with big animals. Starring Jerry Springer. It doesn't need Jerry Springer. Okay. It's, uh, <laughs> it's got to be the ringmaster. Yeah. It's way beyond that. So, um, we're still locked down. Things are getting crazy. I, uh, oh, man. Yeah. I think I met the lady who uh, was telling you that she knew Kobe was going to die. Oh, yeah. From a few the weeks ago. The God back. Lady? Yeah. The God oh. Lady. I think I met her at Trader Joe's. Oh, boy. Yeah. Went to the grocery store. <laughs> First of all, Trader Joe's is, is at least the one by us is doing this thing where like only, I don't know the exact number, but like 10 people in the store at a time. So then they make you line up outside the store, which just puts you closer to people, kind of defeating the purpose. It's true, huh? <laughs> yeah. I didn't think about that. <laughs> right. So whatever. So we're lined up, and I had my nice little uh, six-ish feet away from the guy that was in front of me, and this crazy lady walks up and just stands in between us as if like, well, you're clearly not in line because you're six feet away from this guy. I was like, hello. And I started, I was like, hello, hello, like nothing. She was of uh, Asian descent. So I thought maybe, maybe no English or something. Doesn't get it. She also looked fucking nuts. <laughs> she had two masks on. <laughs> she had like a regular paper mask and then a cloth one that she like wrapped around it. It's like extra protection. Oh man. She's double bagging. Uh, so I'm like, hello, hello. <laughs> So then I'm getting upset because it's like, come on, you fucking bitch. Like, we're all, <laughs> nobody wants to be in line. We all just want to get our fucking cucumbers and go home. All right. Maybe God told her to stand there. Yeah. God <laughs> told her if she stood behind me, she was going to die or something. <laughs> so then I started getting angry and I started talking shit. I was like, hello, what the fuck? What the fuck are you doing? Hey, crazy lady. <laughs> what the fuck? And finally, the, the wife dropped me off because she saw the line and like went and parked. And so she's coming up as I'm like, the fuck's your problem? She's like, what are you doing? <laughs> so then, then I had to explain that I I wasn't just... She thought you were the crazy yeah. lady. <laughs> I had to explain that I did not develop Tourette's. <laughs> and this bitch is like cut in line and she's like, well, she can hear you. I was like, that's the point. Like, what, what makes her better? Why she get to cut in line? We're all waiting in line, man. We all just want to get our shit and get out of here. So then she starts to get so close to the guy in front of her. I was like, oh, she's with this person. And the, the guy in front of her was young enough to potentially be like her teenage son. And she was old enough to have a teenage son. And so I was like, oh, maybe maybe they're together. And she just didn't like talk to him. Because like when, even when she cut in front of me, she was a couple feet from him and, and multiple feet from me. And so then she gets even closer. Like she's basically touching his arm with her arm. And I was like, oh, then they must they must be together. It must be his mom or, or something. Or he's got some weird old lady fetish. I don't know. And so I just assumed they're together. And then at that point, I was like, oh, I'm a dick. I'll, I'll stop. I'll shut the fuck up. Like, that's, that's shitty of me. And then all of a sudden, she starts backing up into me, like to give that, that, that safe space, that six feet or whatever. And she like almost runs into me. I was like, what the fuck are you doing? So then I get angry again. <laughs> and so then she decides to keep six feet from her and the guy in front of her. Doesn't give a fuck about who's behind her. It's like, what if I'm sneezing on you, you Should've fucking idiot? Cut in yeah. front of her. I know I should have. Like, oh, I guess this is space to stand in line, <laughs> bitch. <laughs> so then the, so then they walk up and this kind of continues. She gets close to him again, then stands. So I just stayed way back. I was like, I don't want to be fucking near this crazy person with her double masks and gloves <laughs> on. So then we get up to the front and she's next up and the guy that, that's letting people in. You know, every time someone leaves, he's there right, going in. So he goes, all right, going in, a basket. If you want to spray it off and wipe it down, feel free. So she goes for the roll of uh, paper towels and just starts clumping up. I mean, she's just unwinding. It's it's like a bathroom roll of paper towels, and she's just going for everything, unspindling the entire Jesus. thing. This is going on. And finally, uh, I was like, are you going to leave some for everybody else? <laughs> it, was, it was like elementary school all over again, like tap, God tap, damn. water hog. You know? right. <laughs> Save some for the whales. Uh, and so finally, she stops grabbing the paper towel, and then she touches one spray bottle of sanitizer, he starts to pick it up and bring it towards the basket and then changes her mind, puts it down and touches the other. Oh, come on. So now I'm like, oh, I got to touch. No matter what bottle I grab, I got to touch your crazy fucking cooties. And so she starts to go for a basket. And at that point, the wife goes to grab a couple of inches of paper towel as opposed to 
a whole fucking football field of paper <laughs> towel. And as she's like grabbing her paper towel, the lady turns back to get more paper towel and is then put off by the fact that the wife is grabbing paper towels. Like, how dare she? It's like, you've got boxing glove of paper towel. Shut the fuck up. Yeah. So then she's like in the way. And I just said, move. <laughs> and the whole, I don't think she spoke English because the whole time she's like never really looked at me or she's afraid of large white men. I don't know. Or she's just pretending so she can do whatever the fuck that, she wants. It could be. She was fucking nuts. So I finally just said, move. And like, I pushed her cart out of the way. Like, not, <laughs> not like forcefully. I just, you know, moved out of the way <laughs> and I grabbed another cart because, you know, it's the line of carts that are outside the store. And, and I just ran by. He said, Luda. <laughs> <laughs> i may have elbowed her in the face no. uh and so i grabbed another car and like swung it in front of her and i took the bottle like she's she's starting to reach for another bottle of sanitizer and i just fucking grabbed it sprayed off the little <laughs> cart handle took the paper towels from the wife i was like let's get away from this fucking nut job <laughs> and the trader joe guy was just laughing like what else is he gonna do like yeah, this, yeah. this bitch is crazy I'm clearly annoyed. I probably look just as crazy as she does. At okay. that point, yeah. I was like, oh my God, nobody wants to be in line. Just fucking be normal. Yeah. And go in there and grab your groceries and get the fuck out of here. Agreed. Oh, so done with these people. They're nuts. I will say the last time I went to go shopping, it looks like all the hoarders got what they wanted mm -hmm. uh, because I have been able to find water, which I don't need anymore. I was a smart person and got a filter. Oh, yeah. So it's like, well, you guys can have your fucking bottle of water. I'll just keep refilling my shit here. Exactly. You know what I mean? And, um, but I was able to, you know, now I can do my sad single guy shopping again without, you know, <laughs> it was sadder. It was even sadder. I couldn't even get my, you know, loaf of bread. And, I was going to say Pillsbury yeah, roll of biscuits. Not even that. My dino bites. And my, <laughs> oh, not the dinos. <laughs> no, I don't eat that. Oh, I, I, like to use, drunk. I like to say that, though, because it is a funny joke. Everyone, <laughs> everyone likes dino bites as a joke. It's a good one. And they're great when you're hammered. <laughs> oh, I, you know, and somebody had told me that they made like spicy ones or something. <gasps> I was like, really? Get the fuck out of here because i honestly i have not bought those in a long time i joke around like i eat them all the time but i haven't uh-huh and i think I'd, I'd be down for some spicy dino bites if yeah. that's the case our our good friends nick and nicole they always have a costco bag of dino bites do they really yeah oh. and whenever we get over there we get real shitty which is just about any time we're over there mm -hmm. uh they'll break out the dino bites nice yeah dino nugs are the best they are good you know, like I don't eat like the breaded things because the carbs. Mm -hmm. I'll have a, a nug or two. Yeah, there you How go. could you not? Why not? Yeah. So um, I love a good dino nug. <laughs> but yeah, that same night we went to Costco after Trader Joe's and no problem getting water. They got water now. You can get water. Yeah. Can't, still can't get toilet paper, but uh, unless you get there in the morning. Yeah. I saw some rolls and I was shopping on a Thursday. Okay. I can't remember. This is like a Wednesday or Thursday. Yeah. Or actually, I think it was a Sunday now that I think about it. So oh. that should have been like bare. Day. Yeah. Bare minimum there. Mm. But there was still some stuff there. So mm. not bad. Yeah. As long as like when we went, as long as you didn't want toilet paper or canned chicken, like anything in a can, then you're, then yeah. you're good. All the pasta is gone too. Trader Joe's pasta was cleared out. Yeah. Costco Post had some. Okay. Not much. Yeah. But pasta is, uh, everyone's eating that right now. Yeah. I'll tell you that. Oh, my God. If, if I've told this on the show already, stop me. But a few weeks back, we were at Costco, and this guy in front of us was literally picking up everything that was in a can. Have I told this story no. yet? No. You did. <laughs> did I? Yeah. Oh, okay. But the the best part you was- remember? He, no. He picked up evaporated milk. We got new listeners. Or condensed. Go for it. Sorry, condensed <laughs> milk. So he's picking up everything again. He picks up condensed milk. His wife goes, do you even know what that is? He's like, no, it's in a can. She's like, are you going to bake with that? He's like, I don't know. It's in a can. <laughs> Anyways, the guy bought a whole flat of Costco condensed milk you because it was in a can. So Idiot. Idiots. And that's what people are. They just Idiots. see other people doing shit and they go, oh, look what he's got. Let's get some of that. Yeah. Sheep, you know, man. What? Yeah. Like Dan said a couple weeks ago. <laughs> <laughs> that's right. That's what it is. That's what it is. It's the truth. It yeah. is. People and, are and, Oh, it's yeah, true. Some of the things are- Damn true. <laughs> are some, Damn true. Some of the things are actually staying on the shelf for a couple of days. Or before is like, mm -hmm. you know, as soon as they put it on, you, you couldn't even put it on the shelf. It was like, they grabbed yeah. it out of your hands. Yeah. yeah. Well, yeah last but, week, like, you smuggled me uh, some hand sanitizer. <laughs> I've been able to find was, me for weeks. I was scared to death all the way over. <laughs> I just knew I'd get robbed and they'd take my hand sanitizer. Right. Yeah, it got bad. I kind of wondered, is it going to be like this the whole fucking time? But it looks like it's finally calming down. So. Starting to, yeah. I think yeah. people are starting to feel bad. Like, oh, what am I going to do with all this toilet paper? I can't. Can't return it now. I know. The stores won't take it. Fucking idiots. Well, the <laughs> So Why should have the shits? Yeah. yeah. Well, the one thing that people just for some reason weren't grasping was that no matter how much they close, they're not closing the grocery store. Yeah. It's like, exactly. Like, even in European countries where they're on absolute lockdown, the grocery store is still open. Yeah. That's it. Only the grocery store and the doctors, but like 
grocery store still open. They can't. A, what I keep telling people is they can't cut off your food supply because then it's up to the government to feed you, and they don't have the resources and manpower to feed everybody. That's right. So they're never going to cut off the food supply. That's right. There's not enough cheese in the world. That's right. <laughs> now, I'm sure there's some conspiracy idiots who are like, yeah, they are. They want to kill us all. I'm like, all well, right. Yeah, oh, sure Jesus. Yeah, Come on. Crazy. God, I couldn't get that high to tell you that story. <laughs> What's wrong with those people, man? But we could sure try. I mean. <laughs> but they even interviewed a CEO from a grocery chain, and he's like, I don't understand. We have we have plenty of stuff in our warehouse. Yeah, that's what they keep saying. We have plenty of supply. Yeah, There's just, no shortage. Just we just wait. can't get it into the store. Yeah. We just get it there. Yeah. I mean, eventually people are going to start eating toilet paper soup. I can't <laughs> wait. <laughs> what else are we going to do with this shit? Yeah. We've got a garage full of toilet paper, and we're not shitting, so... <laughs> Paper soup. <laughs> it's either that or start eating Chipotle. <laughs> someone, <laughs> someone should make a beer called toilet paper soup. <laughs> <laughs> that would be good. Yeah. Oh, God. Oh, yeah. man. People are insane. Yeah, they're stupid. Just be normal. Yeah. Eat normal. Relax. Try Shit it. normal. Take it easy, man. Yeah. I love all... A lot of my friends bought bidets. Oh, yeah. I heard that. Yeah. They, they sold a lot of bidets. In response to not being able to get toilet. They're like, fuck it, I'll just get a bidet and then yeah. I won't need to worry about it. Get some splash for your ass. <laughs> <laughs> Splish splash! I was taking a b- okay. Oh, that's it for me for crotch talk. Anybody, any crotch talk, or should we uh, move things on? I think we're good. Yeah, I think so. Okay. In fact, we're so good. Vented on the Corona things. So. Yeah. Mm. Got our Corona frustrations yeah. out. I would like to maybe suggest to oh. the listeners. Oh. I mean, if you've been locked in with your family and you're about to go crazy and kill somebody, just call and leave us a voicemail. Yeah. And vent. Vent to us. Yeah. 805-538-BEER. Mom, we know you're not doing anything. Right. Come on. Yeah. What are you going to do? Yeah. <laughs> Press pause, call us, and right. then resume this play. You got plans? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Which is really unfortunate. My boss knows I don't have plans. No. Like, I've gotten multiple Saturday calls since this oh, all boy. He's like, uh-huh. hey, I need you. Blah, blah, blah. I'm like, what am I going to say? Like, I'm out? I'm, yeah. And I'm, even if I I'm, was out, I would never admit it to him. Busted. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Because he's a mister, like, oh, don't go out, don't wear gloves, you know, wear a mask, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I got him pretty, oh, this is so good. He, he needed me to do something, and I said, all right, when's this going to happen? He goes, I'm, I'm still waiting to find out what time. It might be like four or five o'clock. And I said, oh, okay. And he goes, why, do you, sh- you and Shannon have plans? And I laughed, like, joking, like, do you guys have plans? I said, well, we do have a concert we're going to tonight. <laughs> and there was like a good two, three Mississippi. <laughs> he's like, are you fucking with me? <laughs> yes. There's no, con- it's like, there's no concerts. He's like, oh, you got me. <laughs> uh, then he fired me. Um, <laughs> He's like, Don't fuck with me like that. Yeah. So, uh, all right. Dan's got a movie review. I do. And Allie has a beer review. We got some booze news and another beer to get to. So uh, let's kick things off with a movie. All right. So, uh, over the weekend, or over this whole lockdown, I guess, at some point. <laughs> Locked up. Yeah, I watched, uh, and it's probably a movie you've seen on your Netflix queue, or, you know, just pops up, suggested for you, probably. And what's up with that, man? Some of that shit, it's like, no, that's not for me. Oh, mine is so accurate. Is it really? Because I only watch comedy. Oh, really? Watching Tiger King is going to throw this whole thing off. <laughs> yeah, you're going to kill kinds of My algorithm's going to be fucked. Right? No, yeah. my shit's all over the place. Like, it doesn't know me at all. <laughs> it's really interesting. But I watched um, the Black Mirror movie, uh, made for movie uh, Netflix called uh, Bandersnatch. Okay, and it's not what you think it's about. So <laughs> this is, get those jokes out of the way. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So um, basically, Black Mirror. It's a show on Netflix. I don't know if it's a series, right? It's a series. It is, and uh, basically, it's kind of like a modern Twilight Zone, basically. Okay, where it kind of it, it shows like a, a, a potential future. If we're going to continue to be so reliant on technology and all this social media bullshit and everything. So it kind of just gives you a kick in the nuts, you know, like, you know, like, like there's an episode where someone's like, like the whole world, like currency and everything. Your credit is basically based on your social media, like, you know, how many likes you have and Mm -hmm. everything and your Yelp reviews or, you know what I mean? Everyone rates you. I'm fucked. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So it's, it's an interesting thing like that where it's like, it shows you a potential world we can live in. This one is, uh, and, and I, I always wondered about this movie. I ne- never watched it. You know, it's been on my queue. I'm like, oh, fuck it. Now I have to watch it. it Bandersnatch. It's a, um, I, it, I wondered what's the difference about this? Because in the series, they're all about an hour long. Mm-hmm. This one's about an hour 45, I think. So it's like a movie, I guess. But I was like, well, how come this is standalone? Right. You know, so I tried to watch it on my Apple 
You know, and it says, oh, sorry, you can't watch this on your Apple. It's an interactive movie. What? Yeah, and you have to watch it on, like, a console, on a computer, or on your phone. Or I was like, what the hell is this, dude? So, fired up the PlayStation, <laughs> I downloaded Netflix. I'm like, I got to see what this is about now. And they're not fucking around, dude. So, basically, what this movie's about is it's a... It takes place in 1984, and this guy's a game developer, and he wants to develop a game... That's a choose-your-own-adventure, like a book that he's reading called Bandersnatch. Okay. So, in but it's funny because as you're watching it, Jeff Bridges isn't, isn't in this, is he? I don't think so. No. I, and you know, it's funny. People Tron. ask me who's on this movie, and I'm like, I don't know. Oh, okay. Yeah, I don't know who's in this movie, but and it's funny because the dad, right, right from the beginning, he goes, "Oh, so what do you want? You want uh, sugar smacks or corn pops or whatever?" And then on the bottom of the screen, it'll say sugar smacks, corn pops, and you have to pick one. Oh, I'm really? like right down to the cereal. I'm like, oh, okay, shit. yeah. So the whole movie, like, it, like I heard that there's so many like there's like different endings, I guess, that you can have like depending on all your selections. So you know, oh, wow. yeah, it was hilarious, man. And like at some point, you know, not to give too too much away, but at some point, the character becomes uh, aware that he's not making his own decisions for himself. Oh, that's creepy. Yeah, and he's telling him, oh, somebody's making these decisions. <laughs> and he starts screaming, like, who are you? Who are you? And at the bottom, there's, like, a symbol that, you know, if you show it to him, it was, like, a symbol he saw that, like, made people kill themselves or something like that. So uh -huh. you can do that. And he starts, should I kill people or whatever? Oh. The other symbol was the Netflix symbol. I was like, what the fuck does that mean? So I picked Netflix. And then it says on the TV, it says, we're watching you on Netflix. He's like, what's Netflix? And, like, <laughs> <laughs> and you have to tell him about it. It's like, so I, oh. I highly recommend you are drinking along with this movie for sure. It's fucking hilarious. I was laughing my balls off at <laughs> all this shit happening. I killed so many people. And, <laughs> and it, let me know if you, you know, call in or whatever. Let me know if you're able to get into that Kung Fu fight with the therapist at the end. Cause that was hilarious. I, I thought that was so funny. So, yeah, highly recommend this movie. Little do you know, you were actually killing people. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I know. I know. Can you imagine? Jeez. I feel so bad. <laughs> but it was funny. Wow. What an interesting uh, concept. No kidding. I never heard of anything like that, really. So you have to use something that has like a controller? That's right. Yeah, I remember when I was going to make a selection, like my controller would vibrate. And I was like, oh, shit, a question's Ooh. coming up. <laughs> and then like it would give me a question that I had to pick, so interesting it is so fucking awesome dude highly recommend it creepy mm -hmm. all right very nice uh all right what else do we have uh oh old timey word of the week stallion stallion it's a man kept by an old lady for secret services yeah <laughs> oh <laughs> yeah i think we can uh guess what those services are that's interesting i wonder yeah. if that uh description is kind of like changed over time or if it's always been that and we just never knew it hmm I guess we need to ask some old ladies. Yeah. 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 Did you keep any stallions? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Those young whippersnappers. <laughs> uh, all right. Definitely not an old lady. Oh, yeah. No one could blame you for bed swerving. It's time for Beer Babe of the Week. It is indeed. Her name is Tiffany, and you can find her on the grams at It's Hoppy. With a dot in there. It's dot hoppy. It's dot hoppy. It's dot hoppy. It's hoppy on the grams. Uh, in this one, she is drinking... Oh, I didn't capture what she's drinking, but it's red and looks sour and delicious. Yeah, I didn't catch that either. So uh, go give her a follow on the grams at it's hoppy with a little dot in there. I think you'll be quite glad that you did. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, that was a quick fade. Thanks. Yeah. Thanks, music app. Uh, all right, we have a bullpen beer to get to and some booze news, but first, let's check in and see what <laughs> Allie and Callie is drinking. Hey, gentlemen, it's Allie. Oh, my gosh, I'm so excited to be here back-to-back -back with you guys. This is so fun and so exciting. I have this amazing beer in my hand right now that I can't wait to crack and try it with you guys. This was sent to me from Beers and Jeers on the Gram. He is my New York hookup. He always gives me the best Evil Twin Brewing New York City brews. The one that I'm gonna crack tonight is, does watermelon and pomegranate really work? It is a 7% ABV, goza with watermelon and pomegranate. 
I'm really excited about this one. Everything that Beers and Jeers has sent to me has been phenomenal. Let's crack her open. Oh my gosh. Wow. I am always amazed at the color of the brews that Evil Twin comes up with. This bad boy is like a murky, murky caramel brown color. No head, you cannot see through this at all. It is extremely foggy. Wow, this is tripping me out on the color right now. I have never ever seen a beer like this before. I will definitely send you guys some pictures for the gram. On the nose. Hmm. It definitely has the watermelon smell to it, but it's like, it's not, and not in a bad way, but it doesn't smell like fresh watermelon. It kind of just, it, it definitely smells like it's a part of the squash family. Watermelon's a squash, right? I'm sure that you guys could have somebody Google that before my review is over. <laughs> Let me have a drink. Wow. I have to admit, I have never had a beer like this before. This is amazing. You can definitely taste the watermelon right away. And then you get that tart kick from the pomegranate towards the end. And there's almost like it's like a little bit of a citrusy lemon zest towards the end. It's very interesting. Let me have another drink. Yeah, I can definitely taste. It tastes like the um, Agua de Sandia. Look at me with my Spanish. Um, that watermelon water that is very popular in the Hispanic culture, but you can definitely taste, like I said, the tartness from the pomegranates. There's definitely a little lemon in there. So very, very interesting job. Well done. Evil twins always brings the heaters to the game and beers and jeers. Thank you for always hooking up the best brews for me. He knows my style. He knows I love those sour brews. So thank you, beers and jeers. Gentlemen, it's always a pleasure. Thank you so much for having me back on the show. Can't wait for next time. Cheers, guys. Cheers to Allie. Uh, first of all, her description skills are getting better and better. Yeah. She's making us sound stupider and stupider. Yeah, <laughs> it's not good. <laughs> I know. <laughs> She's going to be fired soon. Uh, <laughs> just kidding. Thank you, Allie. Make sure you follow her on the grams at Allie in Cali. It's A L L Y dot I N dot C A L L Y. Uh, that beer sounds super interesting, super complex. And uh, when she describes it, it sounds super good. Yeah. Uh, and I, I did Google the whole watermelon squash family thing. Yes. It's basically like a cousin of the squash. Ah. Makes sense. Yeah. So she was not wrong. She got that right. Nice. What a nerd. <laughs> um, yes. I just wanted to comment, too, on the rundown where last week it said, uh, Allie tripping animals uh-huh. <laughs> and i was like what the fuck is Allie getting into and then this week it says Allie e- evil twin i'm like well there's two alleys now like this is the good one holy cow so yes. let me introduce you to the good we've had the evil one the entire time oh shit uh yes it's always Allie and then the brewery she's i see she's talking about so yes um but yeah that uh sounded really interesting watermelon and pomegranate goza i think the wife would be definitely down for that one mm-hmm. uh, I'd, I'd be down with that. I like a good Goza. And uh, I, I think I need to pull that on the nose. That's got yeah. to be a drop. <laughs> that was a good one. That's got to be a drop. Uh, that along with... Choke it down. <laughs> I think we go real nicely together. <laughs> oh, shit. I think she forgot that I pulled that. Oh, man. Um, yeah. And, and like I said, so it is part of the Squash family. She's a nerd. And uh, I'm surprised that we were... Not we were. She was able to find a beer that uh, she had never had anything like that before. Right. So good job and good job to her beer supplier out in New York. Uh, like I said, make sure you're following, following, wow, following, haven't even had the big beer yet, following <laughs> Allie on the gram at Allie in Cali, and we will have pictures of what she's drinking on our gram as well. All right. Are we ready for that call? We are. Let's do it. Let's make that call. He calls to the bullpen for beer. Oh, yes, he does. We talked about this last week that we'd be having it on the show. Oh, man. <laughs> Sent to us directly from Stone. This is Stone Enjoy by 420 Oof. IPA. You get a whiff of that, Scott? I did. That's some sticky, icky, icky. <laughs> Just took him back to the 70s. Ooh, we <laughs> put it in the air. <laughs> uh, this is, ready for it? 
9.4%, mm. 90 IBUs, and has a four even on untapped. There's so much to say about this. Oh, ooh. Uh-oh. A little too much for you? <laughs> oh, whew, whew. That was a big hit. Oh, man. Yeah. got to take it easy there. Took <laughs> it out, man. <laughs> puff, puff, pass. <laughs> From uh, Stone, they say, every year, many people, for varying reasons, count down the days until April 20th. It seems the date holds a special place in the hearts of certain folks. For us, the weeks leading up mean our favorite Stone and Joy by IPA beer is available. But for the first time in a century, when April 2020 arrives, the calendar will read 420 for an entire month. That's 30 full days of celebrating the glory of those magical resinous green buds <laughs> we call hops. Oh. oh. This uber fresh, specifically brewed, not to last double IPA is the perfect way to pay homage to our favorite brewing ingredient. We recommend getting your hands on it before it goes up and, well, you get it. <laughs> This thing has, like, every hop ever in it. Here we go. Let me get, let me get a breath. <gasps> Nugget, Super Galena, Simcoe, Delta, Target, Amarillo, Cascade, Galaxy, Citra, Nelson Sauvin, Motika, and Helga. That's all of them. That's all of them. Holy shit. All they, all they need left is the kitchen sink. How smart. Yeah, lots of hops. Now, here's the thing. They jam-packed this baby with a shit ton of hops, and it could have been a cluster fuck in your mouth but it it's not it's delicious it's well balanced it does not drink like 9.4 percent no this is dangerous <laughs> and yeah. uh those 90 ibus are well hidden well hidden as well Whew. yeah it's uh it's very smooth very balanced it's got a nice little malt base there uh i don't know what are you guys getting oh man like i don't know like you ever have like a beer man and like <laughs> It's like such a good beer, you know? Oh, man. Yeah, I dig it. <laughs> <laughs> Dan hasn't even had any yet. <laughs> Take that, a sip, dude. That's just Dan. <laughs> oh, this is so good. Um, I get... It's a little... Uh, God, what is that smell? I don't want to say tropical fruits. It's like... um, It's some sort of fruit, but it doesn't... Tropical is not quite the description. God, for I it. can't get by. Like you can tell this thing is like loaded with hops. Like, yeah. Oh, yeah. Holy shit. Yeah, it's definitely... Just jam packed. Yeah, Woo. it's a hopperama. Yeah, big time. Uh, maybe peach on the nose. A little bit of peach. Man, I can't get past the dank. It is dank. Yeah, uh, a little bit of peach on the flavor as well. But I mean, just dank through and through. Mm -hmm. There's something there to balance it out. But oh like, yeah, yeah. You know, it's oh, it's so good. The booze nicely balances out the hops. Yeah. Vice versa. I think you really got to kind of. I mean, it's 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 a good balance, but definitely. One of those like heavy kind of dank where it's like you got to work your way up, I think. Yeah. I think I, I'm glad we had the, you know, the 14 cannons. Oh, yeah, yeah. Because it was like, you know, we needed a little from all the healthy stuff. We couldn't have gone from the healthy stuff to this. Oh, no. It would have been like, our Whoa. pallets out. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It would have been a, <laughs> just a big mouth blowout. That's right. Yeah. That's why we had the 14 cannons further. We start with the pail and we work up to the big, uh, there you go. <laughs> mm -hmm. So, uh, you know, when we did, I talked about it last week, we did the, the live, Ali and I tasting of this and then mm -hmm. stone was watching somebody in the chat and you know you can do a little chat on instagram live is like what's your favorite stone and so Allie gave her answer and, and my answer i said well my favorite stone of all time and since they're watching uh i hope they bring it back is cali belgique no stone commented with i think they mean their favorite current stone i, was oh, like, oh, I got called out by stone damn. uh so anyways but i'll turn that over to you guys do you guys have a favorite current stone beer ooh, i mean this is delicious mm -hmm. so i'll give you my answer while you guys contemplate yeah, about it it's hard for me to go against choco vesa so that's a good oh, one. man that is yeah. a good one love choco love uh hoot stout <laughs> hoot stout's a good hoot one stout. oh yeah also uh, the, the answer i ended up giving which honestly i feel like a dick bag i forgot about choco a little bit was uh, that Pog. I love that Notorious P.O.G. The Notorious P.O.G. That's just summer in my mouth. That was, was good, man. It was so good. Yeah. Even I can co-sign that one. That so was a good. good one. But this is delicious. Choco, yeah. Ch I think Choco's the winner. Choco's the I can't winner. can't believe I forgot. I look forward to it every year. Right. It's not Christmas without it. Oh, man. That and the Yule Log. I think that might be it, man. It might be like the holidays or something. Something yeah. just special about the Choco Vesa. It's where true. It's like, oh, man. Thank you for coming back to me. Yeah. Every year. <laughs> yeah. What about you? Do you have a favorite uh, stone? 
since Dan brought up the Choke of Asa, I got to say, mm. I agree with that. Dang. But I, I get, I got to say my favorite uh, best buy or drink buy or whatever uh-huh. was the 214 they had that one year. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. It was like a chocolate IPA, oh, wasn't it? Man, yeah. Which I was real scared of because it sounded dicey. It did. But and uh, they pulled it off. Yeah, they did. I think that was 2000. A couple years ago. I think ago, it was 18. Think, yeah. If I had to guess, I'd say it was 18. But yeah, it had the red Enjoy by label mm-hmm. on it. Yeah. That was delicious. Yes, it was. You need to bring that one back. You should. Yeah. That yeah. Was so good. Uh, all right, we'll stop uh, <laughs> drooling now as we drink our weed drink. <laughs> 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 this is dank as fuck, and it's delicious. Thank mm-hmm. you, Stone, for sending it our way. Uh, we're, we're definitely enjoying this one. Let's let's move on to little booze news. Extra, extra, drink all about it. It's time for booze news. Well, a little bit of good news and all this craziness. All segments of off-premise beer sales are up. So basically, people are stocking up with beer at the grocery store and the liquor stores. And uh, so those sales off-premise are up way more than last year. I bet. So that's good for the breweries. But uh, not a lot of breweries you know, are in stores. So it's only helping kind of the bigger guys. Huh. Well, it's like I said last week, they're stuck in the house with the kids. Right. So, mm-hmm. yeah. Need to get out. Yeah. Like, I forgot to buy something. Yeah. <laughs> Bought all this fucking <laughs> toilet you. paper. <laughs> right. <laughs> Dang. Um, some nice news. Allagash Brewing found some extra protective equipment in their lab. They were going through their brewery lab and like, oh, we have some extra masks and gloves we didn't know we had. So they donated to a local hospital who's in oh, the short nice. supply. Bang. So that was nice. Nice. Uh, Untapped has a new at-home check-in that you can do now. So when you're checking in on Untapped, you can say like where you bought the beer from and where you're drinking it. And oh. So like if you're at a bar or at a brewery, you're like, oh, I got it from and drinking at Endegrin. Well, now you can say at home and it doesn't actually tag your house. Okay. <laughs> it's, it's a generic at home. But still, yeah, I don't know. What if it's always like at home, at home? <laughs> it's like, look at this sad that's motherfucker. That's what mine would be. <laughs> yeah. I mean, for the foreseeable future, that's what it's going to be. But you know? uh, once this is all over, if it keeps saying at home, you might have a, I know. a problem. I know. Hey, man. I drink it. What I do at home is my business. <laughs> that's right. I want to get drunk. I want to get drunk. Right. Don't, uh, don't tell me what to do on tapped. That's right. Uh, a New Mexico sheriff suspected of showing up drunk to a standoff. Oh, this is good. Hey. Uh, Rio Rancho, New Mexico. The New Mexico Attorney General's office is reviewing a case involving a sheriff who police said show up drunk to a SWAT standoff and tried to order officers away. <laughs> <laughs> Attorney General spokesman Matt Baca told the AP that uh, a complaint naming Rio Arriba County Sheriff James uh, James Lujan has been referred to the office and the prosecutors are reviewing it. Criminal complaint filed Thursday said Lujan in plain clothes attempted to take over the scene involving a barricaded subject in Española, New Mexico. Ah. Española police chief Richard Jimenez wrote that officers reported Lujan smelled of alcohol and ignored commands to leave the kill zone Ooh. in front of the house of the barricaded subject. Lujan told the Santa Fe New Mexican that the accusations in the criminal complaint are false. Hmm. Doubt it. Yeah. <laughs> Showed up in plain clothes and wouldn't leave. <laughs> Sounds like a drunk person. <laughs> yeah. And then real quickly, this has nothing to do with alcohol. It's just don't be this person. A grocery store threw out $35,000 in food that a woman intentionally coughed on, oh, sparking, corona, on. sparking coronavirus fears, please. That shit threw her ass out. Yeah. A woman purposely coughed on 30, 35000 worth of food at a Pennsylvania grocery store. She likely faces criminal charges for coffee and one of the primary so. ways to spread the coronavirus. The unnamed woman entered a small grocery chain, uh, Garrity's Supermarket, and started coughing on produce, bakery items, meat, and other merchandise. Staff quickly removed her from the store and called Hanover Township Police, who found her a few hours later, took her into custody. Uh, police said the woman intentionally contaminated the food and they plan to file criminal charges against her once her mental health treatment concludes. <laughs> Officials don't believe she's infected with the coronavirus, but will make every effort to see that she is tested. Yeah, I mean, you don't want to like eat the food that she coughed on and you get can. retarded like her. Right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, in case that's spreadable. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you don't want to get that. So just don't be a fucking asshole. Yeah, Was this bitch. in Philadelphia? I don't know. It was in Pennsylvania. No, defend so. yourself, Philadelphia. If it wasn't you, you defend yourself. <laughs> I want to know. I want answers. Is this a very Philly thing to do? Yeah, we're we're, we're thinking it's you, so defend yourself. <laughs> Call us. That's right. <laughs> 805-538-BEER. 
Uh, that's it. Thank you guys for for joining, for hanging out, for listening, for drinking with us. Hope you're all staying at least somewhat sane out there. Hope hope the beer is keeping you company. Hope the breweries are being supported. Uh, we gotta keep those guys in business. Let us know what you're drinking. Social media us and stuff. At the unfiltered gentleman at unfiltered gents on Twitter. Leave us a voicemail like we said eight zero five five three eight beer two three three seven. Our email is theunfilteredgentleman at gmail.com. I think that's just about everything. Go wash your hands. Yeah, yeah, do that. Wash your damn hands. Wash your nasty ass. <laughs> <laughs> and grab one of these Enjoy Bison. No kidding. That's Enjoy right. it. Puff, puff, pass. Man. Hell yeah. Yeah, this is good stuff. Good stuff. Yes. Uh, so in the meantime, I know you are because there's nothing else to do. I hope you're all staying very well hydrated. And on that note, good night, everybody. Good night, everybody.